Kenny Galladay. Congrats to the fucking Giants fans. Yeah. Congrats to Kenny Galladay, mm. who nobody knew if there was going to be a real market for these wide receivers because there was a lot of smaller than expected deals done. Kendrick Bourne signs, Nelson Aguilar signs, but the Giants have been getting a bit active in $72 million deal with a max of $76 million with $40 million in guarantees. I don't think anybody saw that type of deal for really well, anybody coming out of this COVID Actually, Pat, I tried to tell you last week that Kenny Galladay, in all likelihood, will be a giant. I even I, I nailed the uh, the forty million dollars guaranteed. So I tried to tell you whether or not you took that as, as gospel. That's that's on you. When did you say? I don't remember you saying. Yeah, that. last week. You know, he was going to the Bengals and and the Bears, and I just said Kenny Galladay is going to be a giant. The simple as that. <laughs> You just had a feeling, Jay, or did you tell anybody about this, or is this just kind of post? It's well, silent. no, I mean that's my move. Is you know you don't say it, and then a week after, I I let everyone know. I actually I, I was on this first. I was on this first, but uh, yeah, I mean I knew it was gonna happen. We we didn't get it out as early as I would have liked to, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Uh, why are oh, the Giants shit. such big spenders all of a sudden? Do they see the NFC East and say this place stinks? Huh? Let's go ahead. If if not if not now, then when? And if not them, then us. Is that what the Ooh. Giants are thinking right now in this terrible NFC East, Jay? I believe that is what they are thinking. Also, uh, you can only make so many excuses for Danny Dimes. I mean, either he <laughs> fucking stinks or he doesn't. So <laughs> you get some weapons around him. If he's not the guy this year, then then who knows? You know, you go into the draft, you get someone else. Jay does not deserve this. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, I did not know he was in the studio. <laughs> How did this come about? Let me book him. Well, the, the bald cap was the new addition. Uh, I need to figure it out. I think my hair is coming out a little bit. But, uh, and, you know, this jacket was just laying around, so I said, why not? <laughs> huh. Yeah, there are some things on this show yeah. that, you know, that really get me. That, me turning my head there to see, <laughs> to see you in full garb there. It was really good. Thank you for what you just did. You got it, Pat. My oh, player. Jay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Jay. Still, Jay. Sorry. I completely forgot about that. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Jay Glazer does not deserve that. No. Love you, Jay. Love, love you, Jay. Jay. Love you, Jay. Love you, Jay. is back in the... Uh, we do love you, Jay, by the way. Thank you, Jay. You know, they say that <laughs> the most sincere form of flattery is... Imitation. Imitation. That's right. Yeah. Exactly That's right. bullshit, by the way. No. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Especially when it's done like Maybe that. that. No. Yeah, that, right there. Yeah, oh, we're here tribute. Just there. Yeah. We're we're honoring honoring him. Him. yeah, yeah. I Ty love Jay Glazer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do. He's the biggest Jay Glazer fan I know. Yeah. Moving on. Kenny Galladay gets a lot of money from the Giants. We had no idea what the wide receiver market was going to look like. Was Kenny Galladay getting these types of offers from every team, and that's why everybody else was kind of held up? Or is this just no. a one market race with the Giants saying, we want our guy? So – on God, this all like blends together. But it was either either Wednesday or Thursday. Kenny Galladay had had the first offer that I could verify from a team, and it was the Cincinnati Bengals, and it was one year up to eleven million dollars. And I was like, man, like Kenny Galladay probably has to take a one year deal. Um, and like, okay, that that it's not terrible reality. Juju took a really nice one year deal. Um, you know, Corey Davis got a multi-year, but, you know, nothing wrong with taking a one-year deal and saying, you know what, the market didn't develop like I thought. It's fine. I'll just cash in next year. That's what I was thinking. And then, you know, got to Thursday, Friday, the Giants started doing a lot of research on them, started making a lot of calls, trying to figure out, like, what went wrong in Detroit? Why didn't they tag him again? There was a uh, off-the-field incident that uh, Albert Breer detailed this morning in Monday Morning Quarterback that I know teams were looking into that he was completely cleared of, completely cleared. But that's something the teams were looking into just to see what it was. And then you got to Friday, and then we found out, okay, one, the Bears had hosted him. And it wasn't just leverage to get Allen Robinson to sign. They were all in, multi-year deal, double digits. So that was a legit, real offer. And then the Giants have him over for a little slumber party. And once on. the slumber party thing comes into effect, Come on. then I knew it was getting done. I mean, I, I felt like he wanted to be there. Okay. And when a team wants him and a player wants to be there and they're sort of kind of in the same ballpark money-wise, usually that's getting done. And so that got done Saturday. They were dancing, you're saying. Mm -hmm. They were dancing.